Hey students, welcome to the guidance lecture 2019. Come on, let's pull up our socks and gear ourselves to face this exciting challenge of appearing for the ICSE board examinations. Believe me, if you follow a systematic approach, it's going to be a cakewalk. As they say in Hindi, bai hat ka khel. We are doing the language paper right now. The 80 marks paper has to be written in two hours. It requires a little bit of meticulous planning, details and time allotment. We know that the English paper one is a language paper comprises of writing skills, unseen comprehension and grammar. Paper two, literature divided into drama, prose and poetry. Let's have a look at paper one. In this module, let's have a look at the writing skills part first. We have the question on essays, which carries 20 marks. We have to attempt any one of the five given topics. The options offered are descriptive essay, narrative essay, argumentative essay, story writing and picture composition. Let's start with the descriptive essay. First, coming to the descriptive essay, introduce the topic through an unconventional incident. Possibly, probably through a small comical or thought provoking incident connecting itself to the topic. In the subsequent paragraph, create imagery and visually imaginative scenes. The reader or in this case, of course, the examiner should be able to visualize your sentences easily. And believe me, you will smash it there. The narrative essay reflects your personal experience. Therefore, it does not require in-depth description. It is a narration of a story. Describe the surroundings. For example, if you have to talk about a rainy day, then talk about the wet streets, the petrichor, or the fragrant smell of mud after the first rains. Describe the surroundings in such a way that the reader is automatically transported to the place. Let's have a look at the argumentative essay. Introduce the topic. In para one, you should specify whether you support or you do not support the statement. Explain your supporting points in detail and explain how these points outweigh the opposite side. The conclusion must justify your stand. Let's look at story writing. Strictly start or end with the line given in the question. The story should look believable enough. Create minimum characters along with direct speech. This helps in a smooth flow of the story. Try to create some humor to the characters. Avoid sci-fi stories, not because they are bad, but because so many students attempt it. Remember, you should be unique. Now, finally, in this section, let's look at the picture composition. First, explain what you see in the picture. Try to look at the images in the background. These images may give you a very strong message. For example, if the picture shows an illustration of a child studying. Look out for a clock in the background, which may be striking somewhere around midnight. Immediately, you get a lot of ideas and imagination for an interesting narrative. Relate the picture to an incident or a social cause. Elaborate on the incident and you are going to kill it there. Let's have a look at the format of an essay. Give a title to your essay first. Divide your essay into three parts always. Part one, introduction. Make it catchy and attractive. Use quotes of poems, but do not have a random and repetitive use of these quotes. Part two, the main body. This should have the main section of the essay 
with the main story. You can divide this part into two or three paragraphs for uniform presentation. And part three, my dear friends, yes, the conclusion. Give a logical conclusion. Let not the ending be sudden or abrupt. Try to give a moral or a strong message. Again, in this paragraph, use a phrase or a quote. Important here, use simple language. Do not use excess of unheard vocabulary. You might think you are setting a fantastic example. The examiner may think you are showing off. Let there be connection between the ideas presented in the sentences. Right? Well, so we are done with this part of the paper. We'll be back with more in the next module.